today with two lovely ladies and a third you're not, not even seeing right now. I'm talking about Tina and uh, Diane Welcher right here on the At Home with Kenny Dash. I think they the front porch. Peels I have known. <laughs> my, my, my. It's a book, uh, by the way. It's a book, and you'll be doing the signing this coming Thursday, Thursday at, uh, at, the at the library here in uh, yeah, Alexander was, City. From 10 to 4 at the library Thursday. You were a pharmacist for 30 and a half, 30 and a half years. years. By the way, thank you all for doing this. Oh, you're uh, welcome. welcome. Thank you for having us on. You're we appreciate it. On your diet, Mountain Dew I'm over there. I'm telling you, I got to have it. Enjoy, got to have it. <laughs> Peels I have known. Now, this is uh, just different stories of uh, people that you run into over the counter all these years. Right. Who, yeah. who, who, did just funny you, stories I made. Mean. People would come in, they always had an excuse for getting their medication refilled mm -hmm. or their child not getting well on their medicine. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had this one lady, her child had an ear infection and uh, she got the amoxicillin, you know, the bubble gum medicine. She called me back too late, two days later and said her child wasn't getting any better. She put the medicine in the child's ear. Oh, my goodness. Because she said the child didn't have an infection in its mouth. It was in its ear. <laughs> I mean, what do you do? I know. I, You've I, got I, a label, people. I know, but yeah. they, they don't. They, they look to you, whatever you said, maybe they heard it. Or most of them, they didn't. They didn't hear it. They probably heard it. It probably went in one ear and out the other. Mm-hmm. So, we all do that. You know. Uh, you, uh, share the uh, the uh, the appeal story with me. Oh, the birth control pill. Birth control pill. This man came in. <laughs> it's all about pills. <laughs> he wanted to sue me personally, sue the company I worked for, which was CVS, and the company that made his wife's birth control pills because she got pregnant. Well, she was filling her medicine every month like she should, so we thought, you know, she wasn't taking the pills and she, he didn't know it. Come to find out, he was taking her birth control pills instead of her. <laughs> well, I mean, what do you do? I mean, what do you say to somebody like that? What you know? do you say? You don't. Okay, they, 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 you're I right. I had to bite right. my tongue to keep from mm -hmm. laughing, but you know. But you know, you, you might as well laugh. He might as well laugh. Yeah. His wife might as well laugh. And the child might as well yeah. laugh. It's a done deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly right. So. Oh, my goodness, life. And this is just filled with stories. Right, yeah. When did you decide to write a book? Well, I retired in December 2013 for medical reasons. Yes, so I had written all these stories down for the 30 years I worked. Okay. And I thought, why not why put it in a book? Mm -hmm. You know. So, you know, we were just talking about, there's so many uh, folks, uh, no matter what line you've been working in all these years, there's stories after stories after stories. Why not put it in a Everybody book? Everybody should do that, yeah. No, but like you said, no matter what profession you in, because I'm sure you have stories you could tell. Some I can't tell, too. You know, yeah. You know, so, <laughs> you know. You've probably got some stories you can't tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. Yeah. I think we all do. <laughs> we'll keep those. Some to things our, are better left unsaid. You know, we'll, right. keep, we'll keep uh, those to ourselves. So all these years, all these 30-plus years, you've just been keeping up. You, you, a, a, a funny story would happen. Right. And then you just put it down I'd and just hold on to it. Okay. While I was at work, so I wouldn't forget about mm -hmm. it. Oh, yeah. Because we worked 12 hour days. Yes, and wow. By the time I got home, you know, I couldn't remember. So I'd write them down to put them in my pocket. When I get home at night, I'd write them down in a notebook. Working 30 plus years, and most of that's been in the Birmingham, Birmingham uh, yeah. area, uh, in a town like us, so like Alexander City, Dable, all these areas that we live in. Uh, a slower pace. You you were at a, you've been at a wide open pace right. for thirty plus years. How does it feel to kind of relax, it, or do you relax? Well, I do. So it took a while to get used to it. You know. What was the hardest not, thing to get used to? I guess not getting up and going to work every morning. Yes, ma'am. And knowing that I could do during the day what I wanted to. If mm -hmm. I wanted to lay around in my recliner, or you know go shopping mm -hmm. or do, you know, stuff like that, I could do it. It took a while to get used to it. In all those years, all those many, many hours you put in, you couldn't do that. No, but that, that was your life. It was. Th those hours was just part of your life that you yeah. 
We worked, you dedicated yeah, to Yeah, we worked 12 hour days, two days old, two days off, so. What was a big change that you saw in the, uh, being in, uh, uh, as a pharmacist over the 30 plus years? In the whole, just the whole yeah. thing, I know it's kind of a general question. Probably the amount of people that did not take their medicine like mm. the doctors told them to, mm -hmm. and they weren't getting well, and they didn't understand why they weren't getting well, but they weren't taking their medicine. And it's on the pill box that we get. Take one time a day, right. take two times a day, or whatever it is, Yeah. And it's really simple. Yeah, it's real simple, yeah, you know. And you know your physician, I mean, all of us have been, you know he tells you, take it until it's gone. Mm -hmm. Just because you feel a little better today. It ain't over. It's yeah. not over, mm -hmm. it's still in your system. Mm -hmm. Take your medication, get it all the way out so you don't have these relapsing issues. And were, people just can't comprehend that. Were you a patient of your uh, own self over the years? Were, oh, were yeah. you sick a lot or uh, and well, you'd have to go see? Yeah, I had to go Yourself? to the doctor because I, I have asthma. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Were you born with it? No. I got it after I graduated from pharmacy school. Really? <laughs> and you just, has it gotten worse over the years? Well, we've got it under control now. It got worse for a while. It was really bad for a little while. Yes, ma'am. We got it. My doctor has it under control now. So. You take your pills right? Yeah, I take my pills right. <laughs> <laughs> but this book right here is a, is a must because we've all probably, we're, we're, we're all in this book. Yeah. Whether yes, our yes. name is in it or not, we're all in this book because we've all done these crazy things over, over the years. But this is, uh, there's going to be a book signing this coming uh, uh, Thursday at the D. M. Russell Library, and I'm really glad they do these these things. Okay. I think we should all, no matter what uh, media we're, we're in, we should all promote uh, these these books right here because they're they're a part of our life. Peels, I have known by the sweet Diane uh, Welcher. <laughs> Will you come back and write another book after this? Have you thought about that? Well, I haven't thought about it, but my ophthalmologist told me he wanted me to write a book about pills that I have worked with. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> so, well, same, you know, same thing. Because you've worked with a lot of, of, of different folks different over folks. the years. Oh yeah, a lot of different folks. And, and that's a profession that more and more folks are going into these days. Uh, you know, going through the residency, uh, at working at the different uh, yeah. uh, it's, drug it's stores. It's a great profession because, you know, you get to meet people, yes, different people all the time, you know. Different well, stories, but one of the best things was, you know, when you could fill somebody's prescription and they felt better and they came back and told you mm -hmm. they were better, mm -hmm. you know. It makes you feel good, you know, that you're actually helping somebody. Lord knows, and you've you helped a lot of folks over the years, and you help yourself by picking up this book, and we'll let you know how to do that when we come back from these uh, commercials. Don't go anywhere on this stormy Tuesday. Oh, by the way, it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> Smashing a perfectly good guitar Ooh. While he loved that guitar Just like a girlfriend Okay. okay. That tells about what let, me, let me talk about LaCaze. Now they're in downtown uh, day run. I'm talking about LaCaze Flowers and Gifts. We got Valentine's coming up, which is right around the corner, and we don't want to leave out our sweethearts. Now, do we? No, we don't. LaCaze Flowers and Gifts is located in Dadeville, Alabama. Dr. Papa's birthday is today. Uh, to, uh, you can pick up teddy bears, a cup of chocolate, uh, heavenly light candles, gifts for any occasion. The occasion we're talking about right now is Valentine's. Of course, they got the Alabama, Alabama Auburn goods, too. At LaCaze Flowers and Gifts, in Dable, Alabama. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today.
Music Depot next to Depot Gun and Pond is the home of the unknown guitar man. But Music Depot is a true music store with a huge selection of Alvarez and Fender acoustics and Fender Expo system for a great home entertainment sound with a price that will fit your budget. Music Depot has a repair shop to fix just about any guitar problem. If you are a music lover, you're going to love the selection you have to choose from at Music Depot on Highway 280 next to Depot Gun and Pond in Ellick City. Is there a funeral home that I can afford? One that will respect my wishes and make me feel like nothing was sacrificed? You don't have to spend more to get more. Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers serving the area since 1967. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City has so much to offer, like the brand new spirit jerseys, great assortment of picture frames, Alabama and Auburn items. You can get your game on in a heartbeat there. They also have candleberry candles like Carolina Sugarcane Mist, Rock Salt Ice Cream, Watermelon Rancher, new pillar candle holders. Then for the bridal registry, they have monogram crosses, framing and trays. We also have new floral items such as stems, bouquets, and topiaries. Be sure to get your lake items and don't forget Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City. 71 degrees on the second day of February. What is going on today? Well, it's very windy. 11 mile power winds out of the southeast. That's going to change because we got a lot of uh, uh, bad weather coming from the western part of Alabama. Uh, now, this afternoon, there's a uh, uh, high of 71. Um, big time chance of uh, evening storms that should start about 6 o'clock, 50% chance of rain. Your low tonight, it's not going to be real cold uh, tonight. Your low tonight is 62, I do believe, uh, and that's going to uh, be pretty nice. Uh, tomorrow, a high of 63, 80% chance of rain, but then the storm is going to move on out. You see what it's going to look like the rest of the week. Really a nice day. The day the music died is tomorrow when Buddy Holly's uh, uh, plane went down. Uh, and that's going to be a, a stormy day. But the rest of the week, even the weekend, Super Bowl weekend, for you folks to be getting together on Sunday, it's going to be a great day to do that. Of course, that's been brought to you by our friends right here in Alexander City, Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road, uh, where I would tell you to go get your boat serviced right now. Okay, you say I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to need it in June. Well, when it gets June, you try to get it serviced and it may be July or August before you get it done. Get it done today. Come here, darling, from a whisper star to have a little faith in me. the world just John Hyde is our featured artist of the day. I've got some things to talk about. My buddy uh, Blake Schaffer, uh, Friday, uh, this uh, coming Friday is going to be a great day to go to Russell Retail Store between 3 and 5. Jonathan Bloom is going to be playing, uh, so you're going to have some music. Uh, general public now, this is all of us, 30% discount on full price merchandise between 3 and 5 Friday. Uh, not included is the Brooks uh, uh, shoes, uh, the tennis shoes. Pancake uh, uh, breakfast, uh, Kiwanis pancake uh, breakfast at the Dave Elementary Lunchroom. Uh, Saturday from 7 to 11, tickets are $6. All proceeds go to local uh, uh, schools. So make your plans to uh, do that this coming Saturday uh, in Dave, Alabama. Okay, I got I to gotta read one. I, I, I've not read this. Uh, uh, Diane and Miss Tina Welcher just sat down uh, with us. I thank them so much. Diane has written a book, uh, Pills I Have Known. I got to read this one right here. Okay, I just hit it. 
A uh, lady told us that she used to uh, use pred- prednisone tablets for sexual arousal. Uh, Predazon, okay. Uh, I, can, I know the sexual arousal part, but I didn't know how to pronounce the other. She just decided and casually dropped that hint to us while picking up her medications. Patient came in and wanted to know if she could buy only green M&M's. She said they make her horny. My goodness alive, <laughs> you hear everything right. Now you've got to laugh at that exactly. when, they, in the, uh, when they come up. That story, <laughs> my brother told me that. Oh, my goodness. Mom is having a good time taking pictures over there. But uh, speaking of pictures, uh, in this book, Pills I Have Known by Diane Welcher, Mom had all the... Uh, the she did the, some the, of them, uh, not all of okay, them. Okay. She did some of the pictures in there. But it just it, it fits so with the, the pictures, whoever made them. It just right, fits it with the, the flow of the, the book. Uh, 30 years in the pharmacy. Yeah, 30 years. And I, and, and I go back to what we just said a while ago. We, you just hit the, you, you just hit some of them. Some you, of them, you, yeah. you still got a, a lot I would think I it's a part remember, too easy. But, you know, I wrote down as many as I could remember. You so. couldn't remember. You just said something that reminds me of what we talked about when we, we, we first sat down. Folks, no matter what business you are in, uh, and I guess a, a school teacher would come to mind. No matter what grade it, it is, main, especially those early uh, grades, kindergarten, first and second grade, keep a journal of everything they do. Keep their names and things that they say. And one of these days, maybe you'll be sitting out here uh, with me uh, talking about some of the, the, the stories you've had. Because if we don't write them down, if we don't put them in books, if we don't come on a show uh, and talk about it, they're going to be gone. Yeah. We lose our history. You're right. We so many. pass it down the way our grandparents and great grandparents did. And it's not just the family histories and stories, it's the funny stuff too. I know. Mm-hmm. You know, this is, is written by pharmacists, and most of the stories are pharmacy, pharmacy related, mm-hmm. but it's something that everybody can relate to. They're, you're going to find the stories in here absolutely hilarious, whether you know what the medication name is or not. Mm-hmm. We did try to break it down and, and explain what medications do what, in you know, in layman terms. Yeah. But where I can understand it, it. relates yeah. to everybody. <laughs> I mean, there's something in here for everybody. I think about we were talking about pictures. I think about so many pictures that that we've taken over the years, especially our grandparents and our great grandparents. Nobody put a name on the back. They didn't put a date on the back. All right. So we look at them and we try to figure them out. Maybe we can call somebody up. Maybe we can get with a relative or a friend and they'll know who it was. But, but if we don't get them, all we can do is just guess. They don't, there's no guessing in this book. No, there's no guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Were, were you, you, I guess you've been excited about doing this for, for many, many years. Oh, yeah. Because you decided to do it 30 well, I years. knew I would do it yes, you know, once I retired. Mm-hmm. And I had to retire earlier than I thought I would, so, you know. One of the funny stories, there's patients' names in there. Uh, this lady had a set of twins, and uh, <laughs> her children's, it was two boys, mm-hmm. and their names were Arangelo and Labangelo, but you spelled it Orange Jello and Lemon Jello. Mm-hmm. I have, seems like I have heard those particular ones over the years. Uh, I, I just, uh, 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 in fact, I was looking at that just a minute yeah, ago uh, at some of them. Uh, but th- th- these are just uh, uh, true uh, stories. These are names. These are not fictitious. This is what we uh, have been hearing all of our life. You've been able to deal with it all your life because that was your job. Yeah, that was my job, yeah. Uh, patients names. Purple Crow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Al Pacino Holder. Daisy Duck. Kane and Walker. Yeah, Kate and Walker. My goodness alive. I mean, um, I don't know why people would name their children that, but, you know. Chevy and Ford. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're in the South. I can understand those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not an average name, but here in the South, you know, our trucks are, are a big deal. Whoever said we were average we lived in the South? I love Define living in the average. South. Yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah. Speaking of Chevy and uh, uh, Ford, uh, we're going to uh, take a commercial break right now, and when we come back, I'm going to ask Miss Welcher what was her first vehicle. Hang around. <laughs>
Like, okay. Kalijah Idol returns to the Lake Martin Event Center at the world famous Rodeo Club beginning Friday, February 26. This year's Idol contestants will compete for over $5,000 in cash and prizes, but you must have a golden ticket to perform. Log on to WKGA975.com for a list of golden ticket locations presented by Pepsi, Budweiser, Verizon, the world famous Rodeo Club, and Kalijah Country 97.5. For over 30 years, Tallapoosa Ford has been your family-owned auto dealer for hot trucks and SUVs. Now they're raising the bar even higher. The Ford F-150 has been the best-selling truck in America for the last 38 years. And the hot new 15s are hitting the scene. And Tallapoosa Ford and Ford trucks are number one for a reason. America's best truck, combined with our award-winning service department for the region's best warranty work and great maintenance and service. Hello, this is Jeff with Tallapoosa Ford. Ford trucks have led America's truck sales. Come by today and get your best deal on America's best truck. We don't want all the business. Business, just the opportunity to earn yours. We are steel, German engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. Find out why steel is number one in America at SteelUSA.com. Find your steel outdoor products and more at the new Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Well, let's go down to Carlisle in downtown Alexander City and check out the girls' clothes. I'm talking about children's clothes, 65% off. Now, I'm going to go by and get some new pictures this week because that, that'll, that'll change. Uh, ladies' clothes, they have one rack, I know, that's 50% off, but uh, they also another one that's 65% off. Great selection of gifts. Talking about gifts, maybe they're a gift for now. Well, it could be a Christmas gift for 2016, if that's the year we're in. Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. Let's talk about Groundhog Day uh, in Puxatawney, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, he did not see his shadow. Uh, it did get out yesterday that he had passed away, but he had, uh, what it was, he had been to the dentist uh, and had uh, a couple of teeth pulled. Uh, not a pretty uh, rodent. And, 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 and uh, Puxatawney, uh, the little uh, fellow will be the first to tell you, I am not a meteorologist. I am a rodent. Now make sure you tune in tomorrow because we've got our own Puxatoni. Uh, it's not going to be a groundhog, it's going to be a grounded hog. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night and we'll show you our prediction from the south. Back out here with the girls, the Welcher girls I might add, Diane and Tina. We're just talking about, before we uh, left we're talking about automobiles. And what was your first automobile? It was a Chevy, a white Chevy Nova that I got when I was 16 from my grandmother. She made me pay her a dollar for it because <laughs> she wanted the new car. <laughs> so she got the new car? She got the new car. You had to I give got, up a dollar. I got my car for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Automatic. <laughs> Automatic. And tell you what you and I were talking about, it, you, you know how to drive a straight ship. I do. And a lot of folks back when, uh, that, that, that's, that, that was it, that, on, on the column. Yeah. Three on the tree. And yeah, three on the <laughs> three tree. Three on the tree. And then reverse was what? Uh, and then. Uh, yes. Up, up and in. Ooh, and they were bad to hang up. Yeah. And you had to get up under there and jiggle. This girl knows. <laughs> Ooh, I love my trucks now. <laughs> what made you want to be a pharmacist? Well, when I was in high school, I worked. I don't know if any people remember. They probably do. Paul's Drugstore oh, out yeah. there on the alley. Right. I mm -hmm. didn't work in the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. I worked up at the cosmetic section. And I just got interested in it, so and I so, just thought it was, you know, it would be fun. Was it fun? 
Part of the time, do not you, all the time. Do you, do you wish, well, any job, is that, do you wish you had ever maybe did something else? No. Okay. I so don't. no no regrets? No regrets at all, not at all. So, so you graduated from Auburn. Graduated from Auburn, 1983. And your dad was a huge Alabama fan. Oh, and he, yes. And he wanted to roll, uh, holler roll tide at your graduation, but he didn't. He didn't. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but he wanted to wear a red suit, too. Did he wear the red suit? No, he did not wear the red suit. <laughs> so, so, he was, uh, so he was proud. He was a great Alabama, a big Alabama fan. So. so he was proud his baby girl was just graduating. Right. And then of all places that you go to, your first two years was uh, Tuscaloosa. Yep. They were trying you. They were. <laughs> I spent two years in Tuscaloosa. Never been to Tuscaloosa in my life. Mm -hmm. So. So you went from Auburn to Tuscaloosa, and then from Tuscaloosa to Barbie, back Birmingham? to Barbie Hill. Okay, okay, and that's where you were for. And that's where I was for. Twenty-eight years. Was it always CVS? What were some other names? It used to be. Big B Drugs. Right, okay. And Refco bought out Big B Refco, and then CVS bought out Refco. Mm -hmm. but it was the same company throughout the whole 30 years. I was never there, changed company. Was there ever much changes with, with all the, the, the changes with the, the big buyouts as far as employees? It was when Refco bought Big B. Mm -hmm. That was a really big change. None of us liked Refco. Mm -hmm. what, what was the big change that, it, as an employee or as a... a Paperwork. Oh, okay, okay. You know, Revco just everything, you know, paper, paper, paper here, mm -hmm. you know, do this, do that, you know. They would come in like every month and make us rearrange our pharmacy. Mm -hmm. That takes a long time, you know, to do that, rearrange the drugs. And another thing that you had to, to, to go through was the computer stage. The computer Getting everything. Stuff. You probably went from a manual way of doing things. Well, computer. when I first got out of school and did my internship, you couldn't pull somebody's name up in the computer to look up their profile if they didn't bring in their prescription bottle mm -hmm. or their prescription number to get it refilled. We had little Rolodex index cards with people's name on it and a number. Rolodex. And that's what we had to put in the computer <laughs> for several years until Golly. they upgraded it. Was that, the, was that a good way to do it? No. <laughs> 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 because, you know, you wouldn't have some people's name in there right. with a number. Mm -hmm. Or you would have, like, say, John Smith. You'd have 15 John Smiths. You wouldn't have an address. Mm -hmm. And all you had was all these numbers, and you would have to go through all those numbers to find out, find the right person. And another thing that you've had to deal with over the years is uh, folks building their own drugs from getting drugs okay. from y'all. Uh, the, the meth suit, labs, the the meth labs. have been really, really bad. Did, People well, would come in and buy Sudafed, which is a decongestant, you know, mm -hmm, over the counter. Mm -hmm. For a while, it was they took it all. Oh, it was on prescription, and they took it off. Right. But they would come in and buy that, and Drano, and mix it, and dry it out, and make cocaine and meth to sniff. Wow. And that's something. When did they when, when did they start regulating that? About ten years ago. I okay. Think, okay. You know they started. You know people can you can only buy so many milligrams of that drug within a month. Right. And we had it in our cash registers. You know when we rang it up, if the people had bought too much anywhere in the country, it was a nationwide thing. Red flag comes that up. That it was a red flag, and mm -hmm. you couldn't sell it to them. Was it any other things that went on like that that, that y'all had to change? Uh, yeah, you know, or, the new, or watch the, out the for the HIPAA laws. You know, okay. You know, people. You know, you couldn't give out information about that person. You mm -hmm. know, to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, one thing that you, you you were just talking about all the the your people your, your customers you dealt with, they were your friends. Okay. I mean, you know, you you they built became, they you became built, friends, you know. You built those re uh, relationships over that 30 and a half years. Oh, yeah, that, we did. Yeah, a lot. You know, because these people became your friends because they depended on us to help them, you know. Right. To make them feel better. Well, I tell you what, if you want to feel better, maybe 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 you're well. Maybe maybe you're well and nothing wrong with you and I I hope it isn't. But you, you, you need a good laugh. You need to, to th uh, you need to put your thinking cap on and say, mm, boy, I, I did that very thing 
that she wrote about in this book. Well, you can pick up this book. You'll have these on? I will have them Thursday at the book signing at the library from 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Oh, okay. 10 to 4. Well, you had that yeah, right here for Yeah, we're there all day. Okay. Yeah, come uh, get your personal autographed copy. But yeah, I, I probably, also... Uh, they will be, will be signed at a parcel of if they want them that way. I also want to mention, if you don't mind, uh, to give your number, if, if if there's other places that would like to have you to have a book signing, is that okay if I oh, do that? That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, call her because this right here is. Uh, uh, we want it to just be uh, at the uh, D. M. Russell Library from 10 to 4 this coming Thursday. We want to make sure that you have a place for Miss Diane Welcher to uh, have a book signing. Uh, call her at 256-392-5054. Now, I'll be promoting this, especially these uh, next couple of days, uh, so you make sure that you uh, uh, turn out for it. Uh, Peels, I have known. The Welchers, I have had a good time with y'all <laughs> today. We've had a good time. I thank right you so much for, for doing for this. Thank you for writing this book, too. Oh, you're welcome. Mm. It was fun. Just watch out for those green M&Ms. That's all <laughs> I want to tell you. They'll get you, they'll get you every time. <laughs> Oh, boy. Y'all hang around. Brian Bice will be out here with me for the rest of the show. <laughs> uh. Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga. Start the new year off right in the new Nissan of your choice. If you want a great price, it has to be Sarah. Buy a new Sentra, $15,995. A new Ultima, $17,995. Or a new Rogue, $18,995. Plus, every new Nissan comes with Sarah Nissan's lifetime warranty. Only at Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga. Looking for the area's best one-stop shop? Foshi's Watts is where to go. Foshi's Watts has non-ethanol gas for you boaters and you lawn care guys. Although cutting the grass is less fun than going to the lake. You can also get live bait and tackle, cold beverages, and they have fresh biscuits starting at 5 a.m. and the best candy prices in town. You can even fill your propane tank and get a bag of everybody's favorite pellet ice for only $1.50. Get it all at Foshi's Watts on Daveville Road in Alex City. The area's best one-stop shop. Right now, Jacob is only thinking about this game. He's not thinking about the clavicle injury he sustained last football season or the subsequent surgery and weeks of physical therapy. He's back in the game. With three orthopedic surgeons and a department dedicated to physical therapy, rehabilitation, and sports medicine, Russell Medical Center gets you back in the game for another winning Wildcat season. Orthopedic Medicine at Russell Medical Center. Lionville Health and Rehab in Lionville, Alabama has a staff and has had a staff of caring folks for years. If it has come that time in life for that person in your family to look at the possibility of going into a health and rehab facility, you have a choice. You have a choice to choose and the fine folks at Lionville Health and Rehab would like to take this time to invite you by to meet them and them you. Caring folks that care for you and your family. You have a choice. The number to call is 256 396 2104. Hey, Dad, let's go to the Sportman Outpost. Sportsman's Outpost, your one stop destination for everything outdoors guns, archery range, ammo, processor, and taxidermist. Archery manager Randy Winslet, five time Alabama state champion, says it's attention to detail that sets us apart from our competition. We believe in coming in early and staying late. At Sportsman's Outpost, we think everyone should be able to live their dream. Sportsman's Outpost, your leader in everything outdoors. The Meadows Assisted Living of Alexander City is a 16-bed facility that offers three home-cooked meals daily, including snacks. Other services include local transportation to appointments and outings, assistance with personal care, and 24-hour staff availability. Rates are much lower than traditional long-term care, and rent is month-to-month. -month. The Meadows Assisted Living offers something, too, that you just can't put a price on. Peace of mind. Call today, 256-234-0800. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City has gifts for every occasion you may have coming up. 
like ladies clothes, pajamas, swimsuit bags, towels, sunglasses, koozies for monogramming, monogrammed slippers and wallets, and jewelry for every outing, swimsuit covers, and tanks by Blackbeard. When it's time to go gift shopping, think of Jackson's Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Our featured artist of the day, I do want to remind you the Redney Drama Club proudly presents uh, Disney's Aladdin. That's going to be Thursday night, at, uh, the 4th, it's coming Thursday night at 6 p.m. Then Friday night, the 5th, at 6 p.m. at the Benjamin Russell uh, High School Auditorium. So make sure that you turn out for that. Today is not going to be a good day to get your car cleaned up. i just go ahead and tell you. Uh, tomorrow and the rest of the week's going to be a great time. Benson Garage, which is uh, down on Davil Road, right across from Lake Martin Building Supply. My buddy Kenny and the crew, you want it done right, take it to them this week. If you want to uh, 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 buy it right, buy it from Bias Motors right here in Alexander <laughs> City. Mr. Brian Bias, thank, thank you for coming out here. I hey, appreciate it. Arm coming on coming out there on. now. Went back to the doctor yesterday and about 85%. Wow. Uh, and I know that's it's been a long that it's been happened. A very long process. It's been it four, in four, October. Okay, okay, it has been four. Had surgery in first first part of November, I think. But um, has the therapy been the? I know it's tough, but it's yeah. been the best thing for oh, you. Oh, of course, yeah. It because um, I can't stretch it like they can, mm -hmm. and they hurt you, but mm -hmm. it uh, makes a huge difference. Um, what are you gonna file on next? What are you gonna do next uh, for an encore? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to work. You have broken a leg. You know? Oh, yeah. I'm okay. Broken, leg, broken an arm. <laughs> you know, Evil Knievel, the late Evil Knievel, <laughs> yeah. he broke about every bone in his yeah. body. He's trying to take his place. <laughs> exactly right. Of course, this happened on a motorcycle. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And I broke my leg on a uh, four wheeler. Okay. And uh, broke my arm on a bicycle. Um, well, Evil, what you going to do yeah. for. Uh, <laughs> I broke my nose a couple of times with skis coming up and hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, I but don't know. We were just talking we're about We're going to skiing in March, so we'll see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Have the children ever broken anything? Are they falling in dad's? They, no. Um, your wife? No. Okay. Like a toe or something, but no, yeah. So you, you, you pretty much break everything on your own? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just do it all, all on my own will. You have a groundhog special going over at Bias. We do, and it's yeah, all, every day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> groundhog day every day. We just finished up a wonderful... 2015. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. We we're blessed and uh, appreciate everybody that came out and supported us on our 50th anniversary. So now Golly. we're moving in number 51 and just getting finished remodeling the dealership. Mm -hmm. And about how that's completely done. It's 95% done, but there's a few little things we've got to add to it. I, I just want to say uh, when I dropped by to see you yeah. uh, the other day, it's the first time I'd been in there, maybe a month. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I used to try yeah. to come by and harass yeah. you every now and then. <laughs> and because I always like to see his desk. One of the most organized guys. I'm, I'm very organized. It looked like he yeah. broke one of his legs falling across his desk, to be <laughs> honest with you. But when I walk in, I'm thinking, y'all tell me that this has just been done because it stands out that much. Yeah. The, the, oh, especially yeah. the, the floors. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Yeah. And then all the, the colors that y'all yeah. done. I, I, nice you change. You know what? I picked all that out. Wow. You did a great job. I couldn't believe it. I was scared to death. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Matcher? But it does. I can't match clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the entire lot, uh, you've even changed that over the last yeah. four, five, six yeah. months, the way you lined the cars in, up. And we just got in a load today. We've got, I think, this morning, as I counted, it's 117 on the ground mm. and 185 
on the way. Or wow. Total of 185 on the way. What's going to be a hot, that you think is going to be a hot item 2016? Um, that's a good question. Jeeps are always hot. Ram yeah. trucks are always hot. Mm -hmm. We got a special starting right now for the tax. Okay. Tax right. time. Mm -hmm. You know, used to everybody went to the used car lot. And, right. You know, gave them the money, but we've teamed up with Chrysler Capital, and we, this is the third year we've done it. Mm -hmm. But um, we can get you to great rates and uh, for not so perfect credit, and uh, get in a brand new vehicle and get rebates and uh, lower payment and have something in warranty. How many, years, how many years, how many years, what's the farthest you've seen it go out as far as finance? 84 months. 84 months. Yeah. Man, time. since you've been, especially uh, the rest of the 60, family. 60 minutes. See, 60, 60 minutes, minutes was last. That's, that's a quick, that's a quick, that's a yeah, quick turnaround that's there. the longest I'd ever seen one. Yeah, first right. In the business. Mm -hmm. Most people did 36, 48. Oh, yeah. Um, then we started stretching out to five years and then. Seven, six years, and now seven years. Eighty-four, seven years, yeah. folks. But 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 that vehicle is not going to just last you seven years. Ten, fifteen, yeah. twenty. Yeah, they're, they're built a whole lot better. Um, mm -hmm. So you used to in the old age, you had to buy new one every three or four oh, years. Oh yeah, yeah. And now they, they wore, still, we still want you to, but you don't have to. <laughs> they wore out. Hey, we're yeah. gonna wear out a, a, a commercial break right now. <laughs> don't go anywhere. She can't help but laughing. She can't stop your crying day. Pearson's place in Dable's getting ready for Valentine's, which is uh, 12 days away. It's going to be on a Sunday this year. Make sure you pre order now uh, for your, uh, uh, whether it's cut flowers, it's roses, which are so popular. Uh, this time of the year. Maybe it's a bear, a big, a big bear, little bear, a big, big, big bear. Maybe it's candies. Maybe it's a mama's secrets cookies. Maybe it's a candle. Uh, but you've never met Donna McCain. I always like to mention this. Go see her because this girl loves what she does. Ladies, she's got a great uh, selection of ladies' clothes too at Pearson's Place in Dayville. For over 35 years, Dairy Delight Nationals has been providing the area some of the best of your favorite comfort food. From the best burgers around to their famous hot dogs and chicken fingers and sandwiches, even the pickiest of eaters can find some great food at Dairy Delight. And never leave without getting one of the hand-spun milkshakes, banana splits, or soft-serve ice cream just to top it off. Visit Dairy Delight on Highway 77 North, just off the square in downtown Ashland, to discover what everyone's talking about and become a customer for life. Southern Pipe and Supplies, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with your decisions on brand names like Delta Faucets and customized shower systems. Make sure you pick up your heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 coolers. Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dable Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235. For the best in repair and service, see The Depot Computer in Alexander City. Next door to Depot Gun and Pawn and The Music Depot. They sell service and repair desktops, laptops, tablets, and cell phones. Maybe you need parts like chargers, batteries, hard drives. They even offer data retrieval for disc failures and hard crashes. Great prices and great customer service. 60-day layaway, same as cash. Depot Computer, 3968 Highway 280, Alexander City. Sales, service, and repair. If your New Year's resolution is to stop walking and start riding, then resolve yourself to run to Lake Martin Truck and Auto on Old Dateville Road. Lake Martin Truck and Auto is the bank, and you don't need to worry about past credit, getting your tax money, or finding the ride that suits you. Because Lake Martin Truck and Auto has the lowest down payments and monthly payments in the area with the best selection. Don't let the Slick City dealer take all that tax money or hassle you with credit. Lake Martin Truck and Auto, Old Dateville Road in Alex City. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. Let 
just kind of pulled John Hyde out of the, uh, the hat. That's been a I long like time. It, I know. That's good. Wow. Uh, I, I like we, we try to do, do different artists uh, each week uh, um, or each, each day. Uh, I, I used to pick about four, and one of them is go, will be my guest. Uh, that will be on the show this coming Sunday. Well, had my album. What, you didn't... Uh, your album is uh, uh, up next. Oh, okay. ne next, next, right. week. Oh, yeah. right. ne you. next week. Yeah, next next week. My Sunday uh, guest uh, is Lori Morgan. She oh, has had a That's new great. album. I talked to her this morning, so we do all these pre-recorded. And bless her heart, uh, she's fighting bronchitis. And and I told the publicist last night. I said, Hey, man, tell her we'll we'll do it at another time. Yeah. But she wanted to go ahead and do it. Um, and you know she's a big fan of Kevin Moon that works here. Yeah, she did yeah, a, a show yeah. with him up in Canada uh, and thinks the world. Yeah. How's of him. he doing? He's doing great. Yeah. Uh, he does a morning show okay. uh, with uh, David Burkhalter on Collage Country. Okay. Uh, great. Uh, from six to nine Monday through Friday, and they're uh, they're having a good time getting up early, and I hope they'll continue uh, to get up early. Now you had Jeannie Pruitt last week, didn't you? No. Was it, um, see, now you know what Jeannie Pruitt. I love her to death. She, I, I Kyle left her a message last week. Uh, she is a very private person, mm -hmm. uh, and I left her another message. I sure would like to, you know, just do a just do a phone. She's been down just here phone uh, yeah. several times, but uh, over the years, uh, yeah. she's just uh, very private, and I I respect that. Yeah. I tell you, uh, uh, who'd you have? Who'd you wind up getting Sunday? Uh, this past. Oh, uh, uh, Diane Cheryl. Diane Cheryl. Okay. She's a she's a local girl. Yeah, yeah, I know. She's been up in yeah. uh, Nashville yeah. for many, many years. Mark Cheryl, her brother, who wrote Old Red. Yeah. He and another guy. Oh, yeah. uh, but the, the, the month of February, uh, I, I've been very fortunate. I got Gene Watson. Uh, I've never uh, interviewed for uh, Roy Clark. I've never interviewed. You for. got Roy Clark. I got Roy Clark. You talked him into coming and doing the show. Well, uh, I go through a uh, Webster. Uh, Webster is a publicist up in Birmingham, uh, Nashville, and they have really grown. Their artist uh, lineup has really grown over the years, and that's who I do, uh, do to get my radio interviews. That's one of the first interviews. I've never seen live, and I've always wanted to see him. He's an entertainer. I've never had yeah, either, but yeah. boy, he, he is, is a great. picker and a grinner, <laughs> and a, uh, and also Ronnie McDowell. Yeah, uh, oh, uh, yeah. he's going to be in the lineup this uh, this month. In fact, Ronnie McDowell is going to be in Opelika uh, February the nineteenth. My guest tomorrow night from the, out, uh, the uh, Outlook, the editor of the Outlook, Mitch Sneed, mm -hmm. is going to be my guest tomorrow night. And he had uh, called me a couple of weeks ago and said, Kenny, said, I know you do interviews. And uh, somebody, a friend of his, uh, told him about Ronnie McDowell will be in the area. would love for you to interview him. So, <laughs> so uh, he's coming on set tomorrow night? Well, uh, uh, no, uh, right. it would be a phone interview. Yeah, be but a phone when he comes interview. through, I'm hoping he's going to have time to yeah. stop in and sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Probably probably yeah. won't happen, but uh, I, I still like that eye-to-eye -eye yeah. contact when I'm interviewing. Who was the other lady with Virginia Pruitt that came down? It was uh, um, Helen Cornelius. Helen Cornelius. Helen Cornelius. Yeah. Uh, of course, Jet. Yeah. Um, Jet Williams. I mean, when our babies were born, we went down to a pre, pre party. Party. Yep. Mm -hmm. Before the mm -hmm. show, and mm -hmm. both of them, we took the twin, the, ba the twin babies down there. They were probably weren't but two months old. Wow. Right? And both of them just grabbed them up and were look, had red lipstick all over their faces. <laughs> but yeah. they, were, they were both very nice. Uh, Jeannie uh, Pruitt's uh, a sweetheart. Helen, uh, of course, her sidekick, Jim Ed Brown, died this past mm -hmm. year. Uh, and and I, I don't I know, I'm, I'm kind of uh, and started recently not, not wanting it to be a morbid part of the show that I do on Sunday afternoon, but a prayer list. I'm, I'm very... Uh, I, I believe in prayer. I, I think I know it works. Uh, and and uh, you know, right now I know Randy Travis needs our prayers. Yep. Uh, Glenn Campbell just found out today he's in, he's the, in last the last stage, stage yep. of Alzheimer's. It breaks my heart. Uh, Mel Tillis is doing better. Uh, and and Bonnie Brown, Jim Ed's uh, sister, a part of the Browns. Uh, she has uh, is cancer free, and she had stage four, the same <laughs> cancer he he had, and just found out recently she's uh, wonderful. Uh, uh, and, and then of course Joy and Rory Afik. Uh, yeah. uh, Joy's been battling cancer for many many months, and uh, she's in her final days. But I, again, I don't want that to be. Everybody thought she'd already be gone by exactly now. Exactly right. Uh, she said she wanted to hold on, I believe, to Valentine's. Okay. That was a, a yeah. statement I've heard yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, post before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been one of those love things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In fact, they're up for Academy Country Music yeah. Duo Award right. of the Year exactly right. uh, with all these young folks. Yeah. 
your opinion on something like that. I'm a big fan of Joy and Rory's, but mm -hmm. to, to win that because of what she's going through. I, I is, wonder how they're going to be biased on that. You is know, is you, that fair? You know, and I'm not knocking. Yeah, I'm I know. Just, I, I, I'd have a hard time voting, you know, uh, that'd be a tough decision because you know you love for them to have, have that while she's alive. But it, uh, it, but you know if 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 it's not the best song or best duo, yeah, you really don't want to. They, they've it had them, some but, great duets, but do you yeah. do you do that? Or would they even want that? Yeah, you know. I, I, yeah, you, you if, think if, about they, if they in their mind know that there's something better. I don't think they would. Nah, I'm, 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 I don't think they wanted out of sympathy. And no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. That, that was that, that's what I'm yeah. I was looking for. And then I'm, I'm thinking if there's another guy and gal or two guys that are up for it, if they win, I, I couldn't accept it. I I just have to I'd on there have, and give it yeah. and on their behalf. Yeah. yeah not because them, yeah. you 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 had sympathy for yeah. them. Yeah. Because you know they. Yeah. They're, they're going to yeah. through a whole lot worse oh, yeah. than what, what we're going The through. judges are going to have to look at it, if it were me, as that all of them are perfectly healthy. Yeah, yeah. And then whoever wins it, if it's not Joey and Roy, then they can do exactly what you said. Yeah, yeah. So but, we'll, um, we'll, we'll so see how that... That's you make just, a call in to Nashville, tell them that we figured it out. And, well, you know how, <laughs> how, how strong I am. I waited for Kenny Rogers last Monday for an hour, and he ain't showed up yet. So <laughs> but I tell you what we're going to do. Me and my buddy going to take a break. We'll come back. <laughs> That all of them are supposed to yeah. yeah, yeah. And then whoever wins it, if it's not going to be on the show, Foul men are equal, this must be against the law. Because I can't help but feel it. Southern Head and Neck Surgery offers the very latest in hearing aid technology. Best Sound Technology uses directional microphones to make your hearing aid more comfortable in noisy environments. Acoustic Fingerprint Technology gets rid of feedback and that annoying whistle. And our new Open Fit models are more comfortable, less noticeable, and sound better. A three-year warranty comes standard on all hearing aids, along with continued service at no charge after the warranty expires. Dr. McLeod and his staff are ready to serve you at Southern Head and Neck Surgery in Alex City. Our caring staff at Bass Funeral Home stands ready to serve you in your hardest of times. Bass Funeral Home is family owned and operated and has been for almost 30 years. Come in and speak with their compassionate staff about funeral arrangements. Every goodbye is different, so they offer a variety of pre-arrangement and cremation packages available at competitive and reasonable pricing. Bass Funeral Home also has the largest chapel in Tallapoosa County. Let us help you plan a funeral that reflects the life of your loved one. Lake Martin Garage Towing, Tires, and Muffler. Now they also do auto repair, have new and used tires, auto lockout service, 24-hour wrecker service. Let me give you this number right now. Put it down. 256-825-6139. 256-825-6139. Also, they will beat competitor's price guaranteed. Lake Martin Garage, 256-825-6139. Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama is a whole lot more than what you're looking at. I love the car lot because Robert is always going to the sale and changing up his inventory. Y'all come on inside and let's go to the shop. Oh, they got a shop and they work on just about anything. Cars, trucks, vans, your cars, trucks, and vans. How about tires? You didn't even know they had tires? Yes, sir. -y. That's Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama. Well, it's not too late to go to Carlisle's today because the show's live, so you can be live and in color at Carlisle's Soda Fountain in downtown Alexander City. Maybe you say, well, I'm kind of eating light. Well, get you some chicken salad, some pickles, as, or as Blake Shaver would say, pickles, and also some tomatoes. Uh, that's just, uh, ask for the chicken salad plate. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, of course, get you a water or a lime freeze or a limeade, and I always get you a lime 
to go with it at Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. Well, we're about to wrap up a new edition of the uh, At Home with Kenny Dean uh, show, Dave. My buddy, uh, Brian Bice, out here in Bice Motors. Why don't you come back and go to work with me? Uh, are you crazy? <laughs> Speaking of work, I I'll tell you this. I had a, a, a neighbor that called me and said, Kenny, said I had a young man uh, come by on a motorcycle Saturday. said, you were out of town, uh, wanted me to pay for a part from tractor, uh, tractor supplies for your uh, tractor. Red flag go, goes yeah. up. She says, number one, I knew you didn't do <laughs> manual labor, didn't have a, a tractor, uh, but he wanted, he used my name and wanted her to pay for it. Uh, she said, you bring me the, the, the part and the uh, receipt, mm -hmm. and uh, she never did see it. Yeah. A lot of those things are going on right now. There's Wade Jones shared too. the same thing right now. We talked about that last night. So yeah. just... Be careful. Just, yeah, just just watch out. Just yep. watch out because they, they, they use I get invoices in the mail almost probably once a week at least, and it, it's for something that I know that I didn't buy. Really? I have to call them and wow. It uh, and it'll say it's a very fine print. This is not an invoice, but it looks just like one. Scam city. Yep. Uh, uh, folks, uh, watch out. And and uh, and I'll, I'll say this, especially elderly folks because a lot of time you'll get something and it looks so good yeah, they go yeah. send you all these thousands of dollars but they want some money from you first red flag scam 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 if they ever ask for money first don't do it yeah yeah <laughs> uh, especially if they ask me for money they have a heap of trouble uh, uh anyway uh, but anyway a lot of good deals going on at uh, uh, Bice Motors on Cherokee Road here in Alexander get City. your tax refunds and come see us and we'll put you in a new ride um We've got everything on special for this. Just got the incentives this morning and still trying to digest them and get them on the website and get everything going. So, uh, used, you got a good uh, used selection. Got a great too. selection of used. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a lot of, had a really busy week last week, so I've got a lot of fresh trade ins of all sizes and trucks and vans and. And, SUVs. And also, and also check out the showroom floor because <laughs> it looks good. And we've still got some more to do. We've got to do the main office but uh, and touch up some painting and get everything hung back on the walls. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, I'm pleased with it. Well, you, you, you should be. The last it's, time it was done was in 81. So hey, 35 about time, years ago. About time for about a little time. bit. My dad said they're still good tile. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with the tiles. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with them. Oh, you got to look. This is a, still a family-owned family run business and you just gotta love that yep. uh, doing a uh, folk doing a uh, uh, business with all of our families hey make sure you tune in tomorrow night i've never had mitch sneed on the editor from the outlook of course the outlook's been pretty busy with some uh some bad news bad news sales as bad as i hate to it does uh, uh, to set it. but good news Good deals at uh, Bias Motors right, right here in Alexander City. Hey, if you'd like to be a guest or if you'd like to do some advertising with me on this show, I'd love to sit down and talk with you because that's what we do on this show. We do a whole lot of talking. I want to thank my buddy uh, uh, Daniel Vest for producing this show uh, tonight. Tune in tomorrow night to watch to see what the grounded hog says about Groundhog Day. It's nothing like you've ever seen before. My name is Kenny Dean, I'm Brian <laughs> Bice, and I want to thank the Welcher girls for being out here. Make sure that you pick out Pills I Have Known I'm ready to by Diane <laughs> Welcher. But watch out for those M&Ms, green ones <laughs> on that. Y'all have a good afternoon and watch for the weather because we got some bad weather coming in here. See you. Cheers.